All right, we got to talk about uh, got to talk about these shows and the draft. The draft is uh, most important. Here thing. is the uh, the latest on the draft. So, after night one, we have uh, the first round of picks on SmackDown were Bianca Belair to SmackDown, Jay Uso to Raw, Carmelo Hayes to SmackDown, and Seth Rollins to Raw. So everybody was drafted to where they are, well, except, except for, Carmelo, for Carmelo. Yeah. Yes. Which so 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 let, so hold on so so. They, the first thing they do is Carmelo is drafted before the bloodline. Carmelo is drafted before um, Drew Mack. What, what was no, Drew Mack, what, well, he's, he's drafted before huge stars, right? Yes. And then he loses in eight minutes to Cody Rhodes on TV. Yes, that yeah. happened. That did, that happened. <laughs> yes, Randy Orton to SmackDown in round. So two. he was. So he's drafted before Randy Orton. Uh yes, Carmelo yeah. Hayes. Yes. Yes. Do you think that Randy Orton would lose in eight minutes to Cody in, like, just a, a match? I uh, doubt, doubt they'd have a finish, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Braun Breaker to Raw, Nia Jax to SmackDown, okay, so, and so, Liv so, Morgan to Raw. Yeah, so everyone the same there except for Braun Breaker, right? I think Nia... Uh, and Nia, and Nia. Nia was Nia. on Raw. She's now to SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. So, so they did switch her. Yeah, so Nia's going to feud with Bailey because she already attacked her. So, so they did all that, all those weeks on Braun Breaker with everyone trying to, you know, with both sides trying to get him, and then finally Nick Aldis got him, and now he's on Raw? Yes, that's what happened. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's... SmackDown, this is not the greatest draft I've ever seen. SmackDown... I, actually, actually, I think it was the least exciting draft I've ever seen. SmackDown gets LA Knight, who was already there. Yeah. Raw gets Ricochet, who was already there. Mm-hmm. Uh, SmackDown gets the Bloodline, who are already there, but it's only Solo, Tama, and Paul Heyman. Roman has withdrawn from the draft because he's not going to be around for a while. Well, uh, no, he was. He, he could have been drafted. He voluntarily. No, no. Okay, so but CM Punk's going to be drafted. Um, he's getting CM Punk's going to be drafted. Yeah, I guess so. Some yeah. people who are injured are drafted. Some are not. Yeah, yeah, because Jimmy Uso's not drafted. Yes. Yeah. Because he's injured, they said. Yeah. And, and then but Raw CM gets is. Sheamus, who they, they acted like was a trade, and it might have been, but he's been gone since September, and his first match back was Raw. Yeah. So it may as well have been he got drafted back to the same brand. Well, you I know, mean, I foolishly uh, thought, you know, when, remember when Ilya Dragunov declared for the draft? Yeah. And I said, well, he must be coming up because you're not going to get drafted back to your own brand. Well, apparently everyone is getting drafted back to their own brand. Except for Carmelo, well, Carmelo and, and Keanu James didn't. Yes, Keanu. Well, actually, there's uh, a few more we could see. Okay, so 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 as far as as far as Sheamus goes, you know, I mean, they already set up the feud with Drew McIntyre. Yes. So it's kind of like he kind of had to be. They they both had to kind of be on the same brand, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the rosters don't lock until May something, so they could have done a blow off. Well, they could have they could have done a one week feud. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And then for round four, SmackDown gets AJ Styles, who is already there. Raw gets the Alpha Academy, who are already there. SmackDown gets Andrade, who actually I'm not it, sure. He kind of was uh, where he was needed. Yeah, but Andrade technically was a Raw guy. Okay. So, and so, then, so, uh, so, he's, so he moved. And Kiana James got called up to Raw. And I'm pretty, I'm 99% sure she didn't know because. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think she She knew. was in the audience and they called her name and she like stood up and some dude ran up, like some production guy. Give, give he, her, he threw her a hat. hat and she's like, she got the hat. And then they then they go, after the break, we're going to talk to Kiana James. And they come back from break and they interviewed her and she's like totally out of character. She's like, I just want to thank everybody for all of the, you know, time and effort. They w And she was just like, okay, well, there she goes. And they well, all applauded. Know, yeah, well, I, I don't think Carmelo knew either. Although, I th although. He had but, to know. He was already main roster. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I don't think he knew where he was going, but I think that, that's possible. I think that I think that I think he knew like we knew that he was coming up, which is like we're 95 percent sure. I don't think someone said, hey, you know, like you're up, um, you know, because they don't do that. They, they legitimately don't tell anyone anything. I did laugh, too, that, um, you know, they have this this setup at the uh, performance center. All the NXT people are there and uh, they announce that Carmelo's going up and everyone stands and applauds. And there's Trick. <laughs> Good job, Carmelo. He's he's applauding. Yeah, I don't think he should have done that, but oh well. Yeah, well, but the other thing too is, it's like there's like 200 people there. There's a lot of people there. I mean, it's yeah. like it's like it is amazing the amount of people they have under contract. Yeah. They have more people under contract, legitimately, than they have fans in that building when they have shows. Yeah. So then they had the supplemental draft. So SmackDown got Cedric and Ashanti the Adonis, which Baron were, Corbin, which were already who were already there but never on television. Baron Corbin who got called back up from NXT. 
Yeah. And uh, Anderson Gallows and Meechin, who I think were SmackDown. They were SmackDown. And then Raw gets... Okay, so so here, here's interesting. So, so all the groups were together, except the OC... It was AJ Styles and the rest of them as separate entities. He, well, he's split off. Okay. Just like Roman has. And then Raw's Isla Dawn and Alba Fire, who I think is, were SmackDown. They were SmackDown, but they were hardly ever used. Yep. And then Ivar, Shayna, and Zoe, who I think all were Raw. Yeah, right. They're They've been drafted around. back to Raw, yes. Yeah, yeah. Very few changes. And No. I think that that's the mentality. Look, I, I, you, go, there's, you can go with the argument that, like, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. You know well, what I mean? The thing, too, is if you switch everybody, you have the same rosters just on different shows. Well, you can switch like half the people. But yeah. instead, they're switching almost nobody. Well, we'll probably get more switches, I'd presume, on Raw. A few. But yeah. it's, I think that the I think the, the basic just is very few, few fewer switches than ever before and no champions being switched, in yes. the, which, they told you, which they told you ahead of time. Yes. yes. First time ever is like, you know, it's like no, no champions being switched. All right, so the uh, the show itself opened up with uh, uh, all of the wrestlers and a screen explaining the draft rules. The rosters lock May 6th, so they announced that. And then Paul did the promo talking about how uh, Roman had voluntarily withdrawn from the draft. So that does mean, by the way, in storyline, Paul and Roman are talking. So the idea in storyline had been that Paul had not talked to Roman about what was going on with Solo and Tamatanga. But now we know that he has been talking to Roman. I believe that you are thinking way too deeply. I hope not. I believe you are thinking way too deeply. How is I that, that thinking too deeply? So he talked to the guy and he pulled out of the thing. Yeah, no, but I think that the idea That's is, all they've discussed? I think, no, I think the idea is, is that, like, it's not like he has or hasn't talked. It's whatever's convenient that week. I you know, hope they're, they're gonna... doing a better job storytelling than whatever's, conf- or whatever's uh, you know... Convenient I, on each given week. I think that it's just convenient. Whatever's convenient on each given week. That's is, that is how they explain it. Yeah. So Corey was in the. It's ring. not like it's not like he went in there and said, "Oh yeah, you know, just solo and everything." I talked to the tribal chief. Blah 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 blah. They never said that. It was just a way to. It was just a way to, essentially, n- not draft Roman Reigns first because it would be an insult if they didn't because he's in their world the biggest star, and. They just decided, uh, you know, when he shows up, and obviously he's going to show up on SmackDown because his whole angles with the rest of those guys. So it's just a way to announce, you know, to get, uh, you know, whatever, you know, different guys and different, you know, not worry about him, I guess. So uh, Corey is in the ring to moderate contract signing with AJ and Cody. And essentially they uh, discussed the match. They each signed. And then uh, they shook hands, mm-hmm. and that was it. And AJ didn't really come across as a big heel, you know, very, you know. I mean, look, when your big heel spot is, I loved your dad, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, at the end of the show, they had another stare down and shook hands again. Yeah. So uh, after that, Hunter's music hit, shook Cody's hand. They did the first round of draft draft picks. Yeah. And uh but I mean though the so, so the, the whole the whole thing with uh, Cody and AJ it's it's a, essentially it's like we got a pay-per-view on May the 4th and we want Cody to have a good win and we want him to have a good match and they got a guy who he should get a good win and a good match out of. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.